Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco Dish Shout Out Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. It's just Marco here once again, and I am here to give you guys a double feature porno commentary. See, the other day I had probably the most disastrous commentary of all time. It has to be that one and the Shang-Chi one that was also a failure, which you guys probably don't know about. Uh, both of them had a common theme, which was it was just hard for us to watch the actual movie. Like all these technical issues. And it was such a disastrous commentary. I kind of wish that I had kept it, though. So I feel bad about that. It's just that, you know, I have a limited amount of storage on my phone. And even though these are like voice recordings that I then put a video on top, it's really hard to have a lot of footage and stuff on here at once. And so, <coughs> anyways... I decided I was supposed to do a Clockwork Orange XXX parody commentary. And I and also Two Girls One Cup Part Two. So what I decided to do was Clockwork Orange XXX parody and Latifa from Two Girls One Cup. She has a movie called Latifa the Hot Girl. And I'm going to be commentating over both of those. So you're going to watch a normal one with me. And then you're going to watch a weird, bad one with me. So, and I already see Latifah's face. She is just the, I would say she might be like the, the best actress in these videos I've ever seen. Just in terms of like entertainment value. Like she, she is like the funniest one like, it's too bad that I couldn't get in contact so that I could put her in, like, a normal movie. Because that would be hilarious. So, anyway. Time to watch Clockwork Orange. The the weird version. Oh. Got a pop-up. Oh, what's that? <coughs> oh, shit. What's, what's it doing? Now it's going to a... What the... Uh, are you going to have a technical problem again? Are you serious? Because what happened was when I opened up the laptop to do this commentary, the Firefox made me update it. And that, but now it's, it's like, what? What? Why is it? Uh, what? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, come on. Just give me Clockwork Orange. It's just a simple thing. Let's go to tnaflix.com instead. And also, I should mention, it was really funny because earlier today, I was just rubbing these two quarters together for no reason. And then I saw on my horoscope that it said, you'll come under, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll have a, an unexpected thing of money come to you. And what happened was when I came up here, I looked in my closet, and what do you know? I found a big box. Oh, shit. There's my earphone. These, these commentaries are fun. These are fun videos. I actually found, though, a whole box full of money that I had saved, a bunch of coins. And it was from when I was a kid. And I was trying to save up the money to buy this house. And so that was uh, part of the funny thing. Let's hope this works. These, the, I swear to God, these sites are like made by people who, who are anti these videos. Because there's no way that they should be this difficult to watch. Because these are like the more obscure videos. Oh. Now it's starting. So immediately, I'm kind of weirded out that they have like a female Alex. The whole gang is female. I think that's strange. Where's the sound? Is there any sound?
Oh god, she's a terrible actress. But now, where's the sound? This, what, what happened? What the fuck? What the fuck? What, why does it keep doing that? The sound keeps going out of this advertisement. Fuck! I, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why is it doing this? I'm trying to watch the fit. What the fuck? I have the sounds turned all the way up to a hundred. This is... Oh, God. <coughs> you guys see what I have to go through when I do these videos? Like, what the fuck? Like, I... It, uh, I... Uh, this is pissing me off again. Like, why did every one of these videos have to be, like, a problem like this? Like, this is going to be a two-hour video, too. So I can... Oh, shit. There goes my earphone thing again. Fuck. Oh, this fucking sucks. And I ended up on that other commentary. I did a commentary of another movie that was funny, too. It was called Les Poo, Raffaella and Vicky. It was pretty hilarious. Because there was this part at the end. I think it's going to start now. There was this part at the end where she was supposed to do something. And then the video paused and it had a caption that said she wouldn't do it. And it said, if, if you know any girls that would be willing to do this. Uh, we will pay a lot of money. <laughs> we'll pay lots of money. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Now this video is not playing. I don't understand why this is so hard. Oh, now it's starting. Finally. Looks pretty interesting. She's not really doing the Kubrickian stare at all. The Corovia? What? Toasted Cream Supreme? Ultra Sex? <laughs> now this looks terrible. It looks like they're just like at a junkyard in the city. Here's the homeless guy. I got to admit, it's pretty strange how well they copied the film in terms of how it looks. Oh, no. The acting is so bad. <laughs> the main actress is just like, What are you doing down there? This is weird. They look good in the in the suits though, in the costumes, the white uh, suits. I'm kind of surprised by that because, you know, they look really cheap. Oh. This is weird. This is already strange. They're they're doing the homeless guy. I guess. <laughs> They're like cutting to these shots where she's, where this one girl is like, she's wagging her tongue around. <laughs> this is a strange, like, it looks pretty good, but like, it, it, it's, it's shot so weirdly. They're like cutting to these shots. <laughs> now they're ripping his shirt off. Like, this is really bizarre. It's weird because you think that You'd think that the Alexandra would be the one to do this and not this like random one. And she she's really going at it. 
she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she looks like a, it, it's weird because like she's the only one doing this and like it doesn't make sense narrative wise. And now the the other they're just walking off and watching. Oh, uh, now it cuts away. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna continue the. Now he's screwing her. This is already like it feels like the director is such a fan of the movie that he's not able to turn that off and just make a good film like this because this is already. It looks fine. It it's weird though. They're playing this synth music that goes like. It sounds like RoboCop or Terminator or something, and she's got a really weird looking poontang. It 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 ha- it looks like a. It 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 looks really weird. Oh no, now the video's buffering. (coughs) Well, this is already disappointing. It's always sad with these movies because you'll have these good looking actresses, and then with actually how they do the movies, they're just not well presented. Like, it's like. It's kind of like a waste. Like this is kind of a waste to me. It doesn't really make sense. It's like who is this? Which one of them is she supposed to be? Like she's she looks kind of like uh the girl who played Lois Lane in the original Superman, uh the, the Margot Kidder. She looks kind of like her mixed with Jennifer Connelly. And they did this... They're doing these weird, like, cuts away to this fire in a trash can. That was weird. That was a terrible scene. Oh. Lingerie. Oh, God. This acting is so bad. I know what scenes they're... They're already screwing up the narrative even more because they're they're going straight to the scene where the... That guy comes there to visit. You know, that pedophile guy who, who smacks his crotch. Like, they just jump from the homeless man scene to that scene, and it's like... Wait a second. Oh, it's because they wanted to do a lesbian scene. Okay. I like watching these vintage ones because it's, it's, it's like a... It's another thing like a scrapbook where you're looking into this... This, like, time capsule in a film. They all look pretty good. I mean... You can definitely tell there was a higher standard for beauty back then. You know, like, you couldn't have people walking around with, you know, looking like they're mutants from a video game or something. You know, they had to at least try to look normal for the most part. Not to say that, like, that there's any type of thing called normal. But when you contrast nowadays to then, it's like a total difference. And this is pretty weird, too. The fact that, like, the the people who are having sex with each other just doesn't make sense. Like, the fact that she'd be doing this with that, with that person who's, who's also gender-swapped the... I can't remember what his name was. The guy with the hat. The piece of shit guy. I don't know. This is pretty weird so far. It's sort of like a... And she has fake boobs, too. They look pretty fake, but... I don't know. That's fine. I just... I wonder when they'll cut away, though. Because they had that first scene... 
And that first scene could have been something good. Uh, but they cut away after like four minutes. <laughs> and we can see the light in the picture frame. There's a, a picture in the background and we can see the camera light reflected in the picture. Looks pretty bizarre. Because like the thing is, is that like they didn't have to have that framed picture there. But they chose to. Like, they could have literally just taken it down. And there's other vantage points where the the light won't be seen in the picture frame. This licking session is pretty uh, funny. Because it, it's just so... It, it just doesn't fit with the actual movie. Like, this, just this... this it, it doesn't look anything like the movie... It, it's just this weird thing that, like, you know, is this going to be one of many lesbian scenes in the film or what? Because, like, I, I don't know. Because I feel like this is something else that's strange. I don't think they'd ever have, like, a gay scene in any of these films. So if you wouldn't have a gay one, then why are you having a, a lesbian one? And <laughs> she's... This is funny looking. She's got three fingers in there and she's like going, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just bizarre. So far, I just say like in general, it's like a two and a half to three out of five. But if you're thinking about it like a Clockwork Orange parody, it's like a one and a half out of five. I mean, they're taking a they're they're this they're spending a longer time and on this scene than the first scene. That's very strange. And I I don't understand that she just uh, now they're switching. <sighs> this one isn't very good. It might be better than Texas Chainsaw, though, honestly. But then again, Texas Chainsaw only had, like, two good scenes in the whole film. The rest of it was garbage. I can't wait until I've watched so many of these parodies that I can do a top ten best and worst parody <laughs> video. <laughs> this is it's special it's very special oh no that's pretty that's pretty bad it looked like she was having trouble finding the hole <laughs> She's having trouble, like, locating where it is. <laughs> She's, like, moving her finger up and down. Like, she couldn't find it. It's like, it's right there. I mean, th if you just cut this scene out, this could just be any film. Like, this could just be anything. Like... It, it could be a scene out of Wolf of Wall Street. It could be a scene out of, I don't know, even Texas Chainsaw Part 2, maybe. You know, like, this, it just doesn't scream Clockwork Orange. This is a very strange choice. I wonder which other people they're going to show. Like, are they going to do the, oh, now they're going to add a, toy into the mix. Ugh. This scene's going on forever. But like, are they gonna do the threesome with the the girls at the record store? That was pretty funny. 
I mean, the real Clockwork Orange would be good to do a commentary of. But what I'm waiting to do with that one... Yeah, she's having trouble finding it again. She can't find her... The... <laughs> she can't find it. It's so hard to find, apparently. Like, it's literally right there. <laughs> she's like, uh-oh, I lost it again. Oh, where is it? Okay, okay there it is. Put it in quickly. Oh, now she's going to do the other one. That's surprising. Uh. <laughs> it's a really weird looking toy, too. It, it literally looks like a candle. Like a candle with no wick. And so it's really weird how it, it look. Oh, now she has a... What's that thing she's holding? Oh, she has another one. Oh, this is weird. This is very weird. Like, they are dedicating such a long time to this scene that you'd think that this was like a monumental scene in the movie. When really, this was like just a very disturbing, understated short scene. Where he sees that, I, don't, I can't remember what he is, like a social worker... And he had the, the, the trench coat on because he's a fucking pedophile and everything. And this is like a, this is, this is going on forever. And I'm really not getting the character either. Like I'm not getting this, this girl, she doesn't scream Alex from Clockwork Orange at all. I mean, it seems like it could have been any of them. It could have been any of those girls to play Alex. Really. <sighs> That's still going on. And I know I, 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 why I'm complaining is just because it's, it's just bad in terms of the film. But I was actually waiting for Safi because Safi had this really funny experience where she went and she saw Clockwork Orange in theaters and then afterwards she threw up. Oh, now they're going to do the driving scene. And like, they, they couldn't even do this right. Like, the girls in the car... They're going like, ah, ah, and they're, they're like tapping the, the car ceiling. Oh, now they suddenly just broke into the writer's house. This is bad. This is really bad. Like, uh, okay. I swear, if I like Latifah the hot girl more than this, I'm going to freak out. It, it's not really going to be a statement on me. It's just going to be a statement on how bad this movie is. Because, like, oh, the light's reflecting in, in a picture again. The breast way is the, the right way? What? He doesn't even look like the writer. He's like a young guy. It's pretty funny how how badly they're getting this this scene. And, and oh, is that the same girl from the homeless one? No, it's Alex. Alexandra. I was gonna say, like, that girl's really obsessed with BJ's. But it's pretty weird how, how wrongly they got the scene. Like, it, you have this simple concept of, like, this group of evil people come to this house with a writer and his wife, and they rape his wife, and he watches, and then she dies. It's like, that's a simple scene to get right, and they can't even get that right. They're doing this weird variation where there is no writer's wife. And so they're, they're raping him. 
but you can tell that obviously he, he likes it. It's funny because the the BJ scenes are actually they're the best looking ones in this film. Everything else looks pretty terrible. But he wasn't doing a very good job of Oh. I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, she's finally going to do it. This is not what I expected. I gotta be honest. This is just so not what I expected. It's just, it's not even funny. And apparently all the other droogs aren't even there for some reason. Or they're, they're just standing in the background. <coughs> Weird. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting, this is almost like they just wanted to put the name of the film on this and they didn't, and maybe they knew some things about the film and that's it. Like this just feels like such a, like I think really someone could have done a good parody of this film with fitting uh, scenes, but this, this is just not it. Like especially the way that the scene is being filmed. It doesn't look good. This this scene right here does not look good. It it it, it looks very bizarre. <sighs> Wonder how long this crap is going to go for. And he can't, he can't even stay in character. Like, none of these people stay in character. That's why I was so disappointed with that girl in Les Poo. Because she stayed in character, like, the whole time. And then they had the caption, and it's like, oh, she's not going to do that one thing. And it's like, oh, that completely just ruined the whole movie. Like, that ruined that whole movie. I spent an hour watching that film only to be disappointed at the end. And that'll be a disappointment I never forget. Oh, and now he's doing the other girl. So they're like, okay, we can't have more than two. There's never been a scene where you've had more than two girls and a guy. But... <laughs> it's doing the buffering thing again I wish I could just go through like one of these types of videos and not have a technical problem <laughs> yeah like whenever they whenever they do a, a BJ shot in a scene it always looks fine so I feel like the director of this movie he would specialize in those types of videos and then he went straight to doing this and it was a bad choice because he's just not good at making these films, in my opinion, from seeing this movie. Maybe he improved, but so far, he's only good at shooting one type of thing. I understand this scene going on for a longer period of time, though. And I can't stand it. Whenever these people say something in these movies, I can't understand what they're saying. Yeah, like this is, oh, this is shot terribly. Ugh. Terrible shot.
We're only 20 minutes in. Uh. I I can't even enjoy this because it's just shot so terribly. It looks so terrible. It it looks like it, it it looks like they're they're concealing or something. Like they're concealing parts, you know, like in an R rated movie when they shoot these terrible scenes nowadays with those stupid intimacy coordinators who shouldn't exist. Like it looks like one of those types of scenes. Like you know that scene from Fear Street, nineteen seventy eight where they were having sex with their clothes on, which is like a common like thing nowadays for people to have sex with their clothes on. Very bizarre. Oh, he's go he's gonna do he's gonna splooge on her fake boobs. I mean, do you do you guys think that if Alex from A Clockwork Orange was a girl, do you think that he would have gotten fake boobs? I, I really don't think so. Like, I think that Alex would be like a... I think the fat one would have. You know, that, that one guy? The, the dim... Or was it dimwit or doofus face or something? Like, he would have got... Or, no, I thought dim... Wasn't dim the smaller guy? I can't remember, but, you know, the fat guy. Probably that character, he would have... If he was gender swapped, he could have been a girl with fake boobs. But not Alex, the main one. Yeah, th this scene was terrible. So, so far we have one potentially good scene that was cut off too quickly and it was pretty bad. And we've had two terrible scenes. And the screen just froze on her face while there's all this stuff hanging out of her mouth. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, she's really proud of her fake breasts. You can tell. <laughs> now we're seeing his face. You guys, I swear to God, you should see the face that he is making. He's making like a... <laughs> He's like rolling his eyes to the back of his head like this looks hilarious. Oh, what? Now Alexandra's in jail. What? Guys, this fucking sucks. Promiscuity breeds promiscuity? <sighs> oh, this movie sucks. This parody sucks. Oh, this movie sucks. Oh, God, this is terrible. The acting. The acting is worse than the sex. Oh, now we're going to have a... What are we going to do now? Please don't. Please. Not another one. Oh, we're gonna do the scene with the it's like they're just cherry picking scenes they're, they're doing the funny scene with the the search thing where he he has to take all the things out and put them on the, the table and oh, oh of course she's got a bunch of weird things let's see she's got a, a toy handcuffs lingerie an inflatable well, that, that was pretty funny. I liked that. That was a good idea. Oh, and they have a female uh, prison worker, so you can, you know what's going to happen here. 
I guess the scene is fine, but I really don't think they're going to just film it normally like in the movie. I think that they're going to do some weird thing where, oh, God, they must have, oh, yeah, they must have. They showed her boobs, her fake boobs, and then they showed, like, the zoom-in close-up of the, the prison guy, and he's, like, just so, like, happy and it's like, oh, you, you can tell that they probably just cast her because of her boobs. Oh, now we're going to do a cavity search. Oh, now he's smiling. This is, this is, oh, no, another lesbian scene. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew it. And of course, it's buffering. This is terrible. We're only 27 minutes into this trash shit. I hate this movie. I hate it. This is the worst fucking movie of these I've seen ever. This is a disgrace to the movie. It's a disgrace to... Oh, they cut away? She got out? I don't understand. What? What? Guys, she just got out of prison. Now they're having a conversation at the milk bar. This makes no sense. They have the correct sets. They have a prison set. They have all these sets. Why don't they shoot the movie in fucking order? Who's this guy? There's like a World War I veteran... There was no World War One veteran. Is that the guy from the, the gang fight scene? Oh, now Alex is in prison. I don't understand what's going on here. It's just, it's cutting back and forth. And what? KY Oil? What? This Asian woman's probably the best looking one so far. Oh, now they're going to do a scene with them? What? This scene never even happened in the movie. In the movie, they, they saw like a, a singer at the bar. What is this? Like, guys, they had so many fucking opportunities for scenes from the movie. I mean, the movie had like a a sex scene every couple of fucking minutes and they're just making up these scenes that never even happened in the movie now. Like, what are they doing here? This guy's not even talking. I mean, this is just weird. This is so bizarre. And of course, see, whenever they have a BJ scene that always looks fine. And whenever they do anything else, it looks terrible. So I guess it's just going to be one of those. And see, this looks fine. This looks fine. Although now they're not even showing, they're just showing her, her face and it's like she's not, she's wearing her shirt for some reason. See, this is fine. This is fine right here. Oh, now they're... Sh <sighs> like, they can't even do one thing right. They can't even just shoot one scene right. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is probably the best one so far, honestly. Even though it makes no sense, like, I wonder who this Asian woman is. Because I want to see another video with her. And it's just her. Because she's the best one so far. Or is she even Asian? Is she? I can't really tell. She... The, the the lighting is so weird that it, it it almost makes her in some shots 
look like she's Latina, and then in other shots, she clearly looks Asian. Like, it's very... And then in other shots, she looks like white. Like, this is weird. Yeah, this is the best scene so far because it's just this. If they do anything else after this, it's not going to look good. Because the guy doesn't know how to shoot those types of scenes for some reason. So this is pretty good. This is a pretty good scene, actually. This is pretty good. Uh, they <laughs> did a good job with this one. This is a pretty good scene. If it was just this scene alone, I'd give the movie an A+. This is good. They did a good job with this part. Oh, what the fuck was that? They cut away. That is fucked up. Why did they cut away? <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was good, and they cut away. And now they have Alex, and she's being, like, interrogated in this room with, like, one light and... Meanie weenie while? Or are they cutting back? Are they? Yay! This is the best one. I mean, you could see, this is how you know that this movie's trash, is because the best scene is with somebody who's like just this random character in, in the gang. Two random gang characters. This is the best one. I don't have any flaws with it at all. It's perfect. Perfect. I gotta look this one up. Gotta look her up on Google. See if she's in, the, in any other like parody videos, which would be fun. Although it it doesn't make any sense. Like, she finally, too, Alexandra, she talked about what was happening in the narration. But, like, it's weird because, like, somehow she knows what's going on while she's in prison. Like, somehow she she telepathically can see that that, like, this one random girl in her gang is having sex with this other random guy in another gang... It's like, how does she know that? And and they only had like two or three statues, two or three mannequins too. So they keep on showing those as like cutaways. Yeah, I'd say this this scene's the best scene. And I hate to leave it, but I, I need to go turn the lights on. So I'm going to take off my earphones and go put turn the lights on. I can't believe this movie finally did something right. This is a good scene. And in terms of like what makes a good scene, I would just say if it has a good flow, like the actors aren't awkwardly going from thing to thing that they're doing, and if you can see everything, those are the two 
main qualities to a good scene to me. And also it doesn't get cut off. You know, if the, if the scene plays through completely, that that's what makes a good scene. And yet again, she looks Hispanic. And so she, oh, now she looks like Rosario, Rosario Dawson. She looked like the fucking night nurse from the, the good uh, Daredevil show. Not the one that Disney Plus is working on. That's pretty weird. Isn't that weird? Like, she looks like, in, in every single different shot that she's in, she looks like different, like a different person, like a shapeshifter. And this is a, a quality scene. I really have to applaud this scene alone. Like, maybe they should have just had the whole movie take place in the milk bar and just said, screw it. Like, who cares? Oh, God. <laughs> You should, you guys should have just seen it, like, he pulled out, and immediately he, like, squirted like a fire hose. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious. You could tell that he didn't want to do that, and, and then he was, like, disappointed, and so he was like, oh, no, and so he started, like, trying to get more out, and, and she's, like, trying to help him because she's a better actor than him. That's pretty sad. Okay, I'm going to quickly turn... The, now they're back to shitty Alex and shitty prison guy. Oh, now he's... He's making her watch... Scenes while she has a straight jacket on? Oh, so this is... They're trying to uh, parody the... The torture scene? Oh... Like, God, they, they can't do anything right. They can't do anything right at all in this movie. What were they thinking? The iconic eye scene where his eyes are propped open and they couldn't even do that scene right. Oh, no, it's the prison guy. Oh. I can't stand some of the guy actors that they get in these movies. Like the ones from Texas Chainsaw parody. Like they all have like this sleazy, wormy look to them. Like they just look like gas station clerks. My lunch just came up too. Just came up like, like stomach acid. So I guess he's showing her a scene of him and some other woman. <sighs> this scene sucks. I can already tell you that. Oh yeah, and another thing, uh, another element of what makes a good scene is do you want to see this? I don't. I don't at all. I mean, this is weird. It's like, cause this this sequence is now going to take on like a whole new meaning now, because he's showing her videos of him sleeping with other women, and it's like, this could be a wholly different movie. Like this could be a Clockwork Orange Part Two. Ugh, God, he looks so sleazy and weird. But like you know what I mean? Like in the in the original movie, they'd never be doing the stuff on the scenes. The scenes that Alex is being shown when he's being tortured. Oh god, he's making these weird faces. Oh god. Ew. Ew. This is this this is kind of torture to watch. I mean I guess they were like, let's find the creepiest looking actor we can find and let's have scenes with him be the fruit. Ugh. 
And they're playing this music too, like ugh. I hate this movie. Except for that one scene. I hate this movie. In fact, I swear he he might be in Texas Chainsaw and Texas Dildo Masquerade. Like he he has to be because he looks like the gas station owner or something. Like he looks like he's one of them. <laughs> like wouldn't that be cool too? Like if they had a part in the movie where it's revealed that he's a part of Leatherface's family. And then he runs off and he's going to go into that movie. Like, that could have been a cool promotion that they could have done with these movies back then. Since a lot of them would be in various movies and, you know, they're not good enough actors to actually play different characters. And so you could you could see, I could immediately tell, like, oh, this... And, and he's having sex with all his clothes on, too, which is very weird. I don't know anybody who does that. I mean, he has his shirt on, his pants on, his shoes and socks on. It's really weird. Like, this guy is weird. He's a weird guy. The girl's fine. She's not bad. <clears throat> She's better than some of the other ones I've seen in this movie, that's for sure. <sighs> oh, is he gonna go for the other one? That'd be surprising. Yeah, I, th I think he is. I can't really tell. Ooh, his oh, his balls are like sticking to her and and like oh, peeling off her. Like they're they're like <laughs> oh, gross. This is terrible. This is a. Uh, I can't tell what's going on though because it's like. I guess he's doing the other kind of thing, but. It's not really sure. And, oh, God, his balls keep on sticking to her, to her, you know. They keep on sticking and peeling off. Ew. He's like a greasy weirdo. Ew. Oh, he just licked his hand. He's been, oh, God, this guy is weird. And the music they're playing is weird, too. He looks kind of like Terry O'Quinn, but weirder. Oh. None of the guys have had very good money shots in this movie. None of them. Like, all of them have had these disappointing, like, it's it's not even like a teaspoon of anything. It's like just this little tiny, like, it's, it's, it's so, it's so disappointing for these, these actresses who are like, you know, they deserve much better. All they have to do is take a little arginine. Because if you guys don't know arginine makes the loads bigger. I take arginine every night. So I wouldn't have to worry about what these guys worry about.
They're like cherry picking certain lines from the film. And you can tell which lines they're taking from the film because those are the only lines that are any good. All the other lines are terrible. We're 46 minutes in. So there's like 26 minutes left. <sighs> this has been a disappointment. Like, this really puts it into perspective. Even though Texas Chainsaw was terrible, at least it had a better pace. I mean, they have full-on scenes in that movie. Like, they they wouldn't just cut away. Like, they would have full-on scenes the whole film, basically. And that film moved at such a good pace because they went through the whole movie. And they went through everything that happened for the most part. Now we're having all this dialogue, and it's just really bad, and... Now she did the line from the end of the movie. Like, see, this is terrible. I can't believe they did this to this movie. He even has, like, a creepy voice. He sounds like, I am in a clockwork orange, and I am talking to Alex. That's what he sounds like. I mean, they're adding, like, almost this religious aspect to it because the prison guy, he's dressed in, like, a priest outfit, almost. This is a weird movie. I'm kind of sad that, like, I actually watched this. Like, I feel like... That other day when the spiritual interference was happening, it was like for a good reason, honestly. I have all this dialogue now. Is anything else going to happen? Because I'm starting to feel tired. I'm starting to feel tired. You never want to feel tired while you're watching one of these movies. <laughs> now they're playing some more weird music. Oh, gross. They just show the audience and they have like some real life like rednecks and hillbillies. Oh. Oh, there's the girl from the video with the guy. They couldn't find any other actresses, so they just like reused the same ones, I guess. But like this doesn't this this doesn't work because she had sex with that prison guy, so, like, what? This is weird. <laughs> this is pretty funny, though. I guess the scene is fine, as long as they don't have that creepy guy join in. But see, they can't do anything because she's quote-unquote cured. So it's just, it's like this weird dance that she's doing where she's circling around her and like air humping her and air rubbing her. And it's so hilarious because it's like, <laughs> you have to wonder like, what was the, like, <laughs> were people laughing off camera 
like what were they talking about between takes because this is just so awkward what she's doing <laughs> like this has to be the most weird strip dance I've ever seen oh now it's over You can tell too, maybe the director wants to make real movies because he does things like with the black and white clothing symbolism where uh, Alexandra, she's now wearing white lingerie and uh, this, this girl who's doing the demonstration, she's got all black on. Which is the classic thing where good guys wear white and bad guys wear black. You know, that's always been a thing forever. And it works too, obviously, because, you know, you think about the Grim Reaper. What do you think about? You think about his black cloak. If he was wearing a white cloak, he wouldn't be scary. Ooh, there's the rednecks again. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that was a little disappointing because I it, he uh I was expecting for like maybe something to happen. <sighs> they screwed up the thing, see, because you know, in the movie it was funny because the prison guy you saw these close-up shots where he was, like, enjoying what he was seeing. And it was like, uh-oh. Like, you can kind of see some of the hypocrisy there. But in this movie, see, you already saw him having sex in another scene. So you know that, like, he would like that. You don't even have to show it. So what's happening? I have all the change, too, right here. That's all the change. I need to count it. <sighs> oh, now she's going back to the junkyard. Which I gotta admit, this junkyard is cool. Like, if you shot, like, a scene for, like, an action movie here, it would be pretty cool. Or it looks kind of like in Nothing But Trouble... When she discovers the baby, and kind of like that area with all the steam and everything. Oh, now the homeless guy's getting revenge. I guess. And there's two other homeless guys. I wonder, I just wonder how is this going to end? They really got in this movie wrong. Horny pause. Another thing where they're having sex with their clothes on? Why? Oh no. This is terrible. I mean, to me, this could basically just be a scene in a movie, almost. Oh, now they've gotten a little more. Because, like, if, if you're not gonna, like, show everything, it might as well just be, like, a movie scene. 
Like, even now, I would say this is almost just like a movie scene. <laughs> a regular movie scene. I don't like this movie. I think that this is... I just don't understand. Like, I, I was kind of hoping it would be good. It would be good, like, in terms of... It would be better than Texas Chainsaw. But it's not. I'm getting kind of bored. I kind of would just like to count my coins right now. And I don't know what... Oh, we have 16 minutes left. See, I don't know what, what's going to happen. I'm just going to count coins if you guys don't mind. Ooh, there's a... What's this from? More, uh, more foreign coins. I found some foreign coins too. So we have four, five, six, seven. Oh god, this looks terrible. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here we have 20 cents. She has like a pretty face, but everything else about her is just really boring. Oh, now the music stopped and the scene's still going on. See, this movie's terrible. So that's 20 cents right there. 20. 1, 2, 6. This looks slightly better. 8. 10. Oh, <laughs> she just yelled at him. You like doing this? This is hilarious. But they're showing cutaways to this guy's face and like... I don't like that part. I kind of like this part actually, okay. This is well shot. Oh, and see, they're, they're, these guys' money shots are so disappointing that they have to have multiple of them. Oh, God, they're terrible. They're just so weak. They're like little tiny, like... They're just... They're so disappointing. <laughs> they're so bad. They're so bad they cut away and they didn't even show the full ending of that. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, here's the writer. Ugh. The writer with a man bun. He has like this huge man bun, like a European character or something. Yeah, this sucks. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I hope that Latif is more entertaining than this. Ooh, he's got earrings too. So that's 40 cents right there. 40 cents. You can you can get a lot with 40 cents, young man. <laughs> you think somebody's going to say that when they watch this video? Like, 
Marco, you're making such, you're, you're, you're really, you don't know the value of money. You can get a lot with 40 cents. Like you can get a candy bar at a grocery store or something. I don't know. 40 cents is a lot of money these days, son. <laughs> now we got a bath scene. I would never watch this movie again. I would watch the one scene with the Asian girl, but that's it. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> 15. They're doing the thing where he reacts to the song. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty four sixty. It's real. It's. I think it's really sad how with that first Drew girl that they didn't really show. Ooh, this. They're showing a clip of another movie and it looks better than this one. That's unfortunate. Ten minutes left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. They're gonna have a scene in the hospital? Whatever. So we have eighty cents. They're doing the picture scene, which was always, I would say, my top three scenes from the real movie. Oh, and it's the same girl from prison who had sex with the prison guy, so yet again had to reuse that actress. I think my top three scenes would be, number one, the spaghetti scene. Where he's like, try the wine! <laughs> I just love that scene with the... Where he just loudly starts telling him to do things. And then he's like, I feel like something terrible is going to happen to me. And then he just falls asleep in the spaghetti. And then number two, I would say is... Probably the picture scene at the end... Oh, they're showing her a, a picture of Bill Clinton. That's funny. Oh, there's Ron Jeremy. That's funny. But I love the picture scene at the end where he was just having fun commentating on the pictures. and So those two scenes and then also... What else would be? 
Ew, the prison guy is there. Ew, that's the visitor at the end. The what? Oh, this movie sucks. Oh, God. And what, look at the, the food that they're giving her. It's like these green beans from a can and little pieces of canned tuna. Ew. I can't figure out what my third favorite scene would be from the film. Because I was going to say the torture scene with the eye contraption. But I do think that it's done better in the book where they're showing him like all this torture footage and they're showing him like castration footage and it seems like a lot more graphic and gross in the book and in the movie it's just this kind of cartoonish uh, I I guess the I guess the scene, I guess the torture scene. I mean, the whole movie is great. The whole movie is one of the best movies, but... Oh, they're calling him the warden? But he wasn't the warden at all. He was the... He wasn't the warden... This is kind of funny, though, at the end, the way that he's taking these pictures and smiling. What's this now? Now, all of a sudden, we see the whole gang, and they're gonna... Oh, all the characters from the movie are, like, joining in together. This is a... Stupid. Oh no, are they gonna do it all together for like the rest of them? Oh no. There's the homeless guy and the, the girl he was doing it with in the film. And then there's the Asian girl, they're not showing her very much. And there's Alexandra. Oh, and she's finally doing the prison guy. And see, the Asian girl, she's the best one. Like, they're cutting to all the different ones. and I guess this was actually a good idea because it just shows, like... But it, in reality, you just kind of think, like, you know, behind the scenes, like, ew, like, this is just the whole cast and... Ew. It's very reminiscent of, like, the end of Texas Chainsaw, where all the characters were, like, chasing them, and then they all did it at the end. This sequence is fine, I guess. The, the, the problem with these movies is that they just kind of do the same things over and over again. They don't even do any, like, variations or anything, like, it, so it just kind of looks like all the same to me, like, it just looks, like, boring. And they're showing the Asian girl a lot, because she's the best one. I wonder, I don't think I've seen her before. This sequence is fun. So I guess there's two good sequences in this whole film. I don't think I'd watch it on my own time, honestly, because if I could just find, like, a good short video with, with that one, the best one, then... I just watched that. I wouldn't want to watch watch this and then go to that one scene or anything. So I would give this Clockwork Orange parody XXX parody. I would give this a I think a D plus, just like the Goosebumps book I read today. So one, two.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, another disappointing load. Like just these are these are just so disappointing that it's almost like embarrassing. Like <laughs> You can't even see the prison guys one because it's so tiny and small. It's such a small load that it's like just so trash. Oh, here's the homeless guy in the... I mean, they really didn't think much of this girl who who's with the homeless guy. Another disappointing one. Looks like a... Looks like a minor rainstorm. <laughs> It doesn't, it looks, that looks weak. It's too bad. I, I really think they should have shown more of her and the Asian one. And then just forget about everyone else. I don't really think any of the guy actors were very good. And now I think it's the end. And they've used, they're using a repeat song. They're using a song. Let's see if we can see the cast list. But they used a repeat song of the song in the demonstration. Oh, no, we didn't get to see it. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that was that. Now let's get into the really weird stuff, okay? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I just wanted to finish that twenty cents. So that's a dollar. So five things of twenty cents is a dollar, of course. So there's one dollar. So now let's start Latifah the Hot Girl. If it even works. And it's loading. Oh, allow to use cookies. Fine. I don't care about a cookie. Oh, this is the shitty website. It says low quality video. Buy premium for high quality. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so mad. That tomorrow I'm literally going to do a commentary of this video. Here we go. <laughs> I can't understand. <laughs> oh, this one's already better than Clockwork Orange. You can hear a dog barking in the background. So I guess maybe this will just be a solo one. So we're just going to have to see like what she does all by herself. <laughs> oh no. This is going to get terrible in about two seconds. <laughs>
It's weird because she doesn't look anything like this in her iconic video. <laughs> oh, only premium members can watch full movie. That fucking sucks. That's trash. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? I'm doing commentary. Don't do this to me. Ugh, come on. I just wanted to watch this one other video. Double feature. <sighs> Come on. It is so hard to find videos of this person other than the one we've already seen before. Oh, I can't go there. It has a bad word on it. Oh, come on. Just want to watch this one video. Oh. <laughs> Let's try it. By that guy, that's so disappointing. I might just have to end it here. This is terrible. This is terrible. They're denying me of Latifa. Let's see if we can find it. Nope. Well, I guess that's it for now, unfortunately. Uh. So anyways, that was a fun commentary until the internet ruined it again. So anyways, uh, th that, that movie was terrible. That parody was terrible. But we did find yet again another example of like where you have like a supporting actress who's better than the, the main one. So I thought that was pretty funny. So anyways, uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, please like this video, comment, tell me what you thought of this parody commentary, and then please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more parody commentaries. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon.